When 14-year-old Hunter Botain went swimming in a Minnesota lake last week, he had no idea what cost him his life. It's believed the teen developed a rare form of meningitis after a brain-eating amoeba called Naglaria falleri entered his nose while swimming in a freshwater lake. Hunter Botain became ill just hours after swimming and died just two days later. His family posting the news online saying, Hunter's condition deteriorated throughout the night and he was declared brain dead this morning. Hunter died surrounded by his family. It is a deeply emotional time for all of us. Hunter had just finished the eighth grade. First priority is to the family and to show our, our love towards them and to pray for them and have others pray for them and, um, and then to find out more. If confirmed, this would be the third case of this type of brain disease in Minnesota in the past five years. However, local officials insist it's still safe to swim in the lake. Swimming in Lake Minnewaska is as safe as swimming in any lake in the nation. Um, the fact that there has been one confirmed case from this lake does not make the lake more dangerous. The Minnesota Department of Health is still investigating Hunter Botain's death. It tends to cause a lot of fear in, in the public uh, because of just the nature of the infection. Dr. Pritish Tosh is an infectious disease specialist at the Mayo Clinic. Unfortunately, when these cases do occur, they tend to make a, a lot of news. These are uh, uncommon but uh, very horrific kinds of infections that often end in the death of, of a child or a young person. 35 cases were reported in the United States from 2005 through 2014. The amoeba is typically found in warm water. We do see this infection occurring in other parts of uh, the country as well. It's not localized just in one area, which would make it easier, of course, to prevent these things. And while it's quite rare, Dr. Tosh says avoiding swimming in freshwater lakes, ponds, and streams is the only guaranteed way of protecting yourself from the disease.